Welcome to Chapter 2 of our story, where the festival in the town square takes an unexpected turn. The fog thickens, curling around the vibrant stalls like a ghostly serpent, swallowing the laughter and chatter of the townsfolk. Ellie Thorne stands at the edge of the town square, her wild, curly hair whipping about her face, a stark contrast to the muted colors of the mist. The once bright banners flutter weakly, their colors dulled by the encroaching gloom. Join us as we delve into the mysterious events that unfold in this chapter. Ellie Thorne stands at the edge of the town square, her wild, curly hair whipping about her face, a stark contrast to the muted colors of the mist. Beside her, Oliver Finch adjusts his round glasses, his brow furrowed in concentration. The two friends share a bond that transcends the ordinary, a lifeline as they witness spectral figures drifting through the square. Oliver's sensitivity to the emotions swirling around them is palpable, and Ellie can see the turmoil reflected in his wide brown eyes. We have to do something, Ellie, Oliver whispers, his voice barely audible over the soft rustle of the fog. Ellie nods, her heart racing. She has always been the inventive one, the dreamer who tinkers with gadgets and gears, but now she feels the weight of leadership settle upon her shoulders. We need to rally the others. They can't ignore this. We can't let them hide from their past any longer, she declares, her voice steady despite the fear gnawing at her insides. As the children gather, a sense of urgency fills the air. Lila, with her bright blue eyes and colorful dress, stands at the forefront, her innocence a stark contrast to the heavy atmosphere. What do we do? She asks, her voice trembling slightly. Jasper, the quiet boy with a penchant for observation, nods in agreement, his gaze fixed on the swirling fog. Ellie takes a deep breath, recalling the stories Mr. Hawthorne had shared about the fog's legend, tales of a tragedy that had marred a previous harvest festival. We need to confront the townsfolk. They must face what they've buried. If we don't, the fog will consume them, and us too. She urges her resolve hardening. The children, united in their determination, prepare to face the adults, ready to reveal the truth behind the fog and help their community heal. As they approach the gathering of adults, the tension in the air thickens. Mayor Larkin stands at the center, his tall figure imposing, a well-groomed mustache twitching with irritation. The townsfolk, their faces pale and drawn, whisper among themselves, fear and anger bubbling just beneath the surface. This is nonsense. Larkin barks, his voice cutting through the murmurs. We will not entertain these childish fantasies. Ellie feels a surge of frustration. The adults are unwilling to acknowledge the apparitions, the ghosts of their past that now dance in the fog, revealing their deepest regrets. She glances at Oliver, who meets her gaze with a look of understanding. They are not just children. They are the harbingers of truth, the ones who will force the town to confront its demons. As the children stand at the edge of the town square, determination courses through them. The fog swirls around their feet, whispering secrets of the past, urging them forward. They are ready to confront the townsfolk, to reveal the truth behind the fog, and to help their community heal from the wounds that have festered for far too long.